Today we'll be having a look at the True Ride bearing kit with a 14125A and a 25580 bearing and a 10 36 seal. Part number BK3 200. Here's what our bearing kit comes with we'll have our new inner bearing, our new inner bearing race, we'll have our new outer bearing our new outer bearing race. We also have our new seal and a new cotter pin. So instead of buying your bearings, your races, and your seal and a new cotter pin individually, this kit will give you everything that you need in order to service one side of the axle of your trailer. Now, if you're wondering if this kit's going to work for your 7,000 pound axle, the dimensions of our seal, you're looking at an outer diameter from here to here, of 3.376 inches and an inner diameter which goes over your spindle of 2.250 inches. This is a complete package that gives you all that you need. In some instances you may not need to replace your races. You may just need to replace your bearing and your seal but if your races are damaged from worn out bearings you can simply drive those out of your hub assembly, replace them and get back on the road as cost effective way as possible. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get them installed. Now we'll be installing our bearings in a brand new hub assembly with a brake rotor. It already has new races in it, so we will not be needing the races that come with our kit. We'll set those aside. Now we'll take our inner bearing and we'll start to grease it up just by sticking inside tub of grease and we'll work this grease into our rollers by spinning it as we push it in. You can see we start having the grease come through and covering up our rollers all the way through and it's nice and fluid with no breaks in the grease. So that's when we know we're starting to get grease adequately packed inside of our bearings. Wipe some here around the outside edge. We even have it coming through on the other side. Get a nice coating going around the outside of it. We'll wipe some around the inside where it rides against our spindle. Once we have it in the hub, we'll rotate it a few times to make sure it spins nice and freely. Now we will install our seal, place it inside, make sure it's sitting as flush as possible, and we can drive it in. Now if you don't have a seal driver, what you can use is a block of wood, place it square over the seal, and we can tap it in with a hammer. And once it's sitting flush around the edge of our hub, we know we have it properly installed. Now we can take our hub assembly and we'll slide it onto the spindle of our axle. Now we can grease our outer bearing the same way we did the inner bearing. Now we can install the outer bearing. We'll slide it into our hub assembly, making sure it goes in properly. Now we'll take our washer, line the notch up with the notch in the axle, push it on, take our nut, thread it onto the spindle, Now we'll start to tighten our nut down. We don't need to have this super tight, just enough that it starts to take all the play out from side to side movement and it is secure. Once it starts to get tight, I like to rotate the hub as we tighten it. We may need to back it off a little bit. Now we won't be using the cotter pin 
that comes with our kit in order to secure our spindle nut. We'll be using the nut clip that was on our axle previously. That'll keep our nut from backing off. Now we'll take our grease gun, go over zerk fitting on our axle, and we'll pump it full of grease. Okay, now that we see grease coming out of our outer bearing completely, we know that the hub and bearings and spindle are completely saturated with grease, which is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, now we can reinstall our dust cap. Okay, with our dust cap back on, we'll rotate our hub and rotor assembly, make sure there's no abnormal noises, and that it's rotating smoothly, and we'll check for any play in it. If we don't feel anything, that means everything is good. And that completes our look at the True Ride Bearing Kit, part number BK3-200. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.